like I said, this one will be on YouTube, so if you're watching on YouTube, hi. Please uh, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I hope you're enjoying the KSL content. We're hanging out live on Twitch as well. Thanks for, thanks for watching, whichever way you're watching or listening. Spawning in the upper right-hand corner of Royal Blood, we've got the Red Protoss for Dragon Kitesy. Hero took down Gemini in a PvP, but now he's got a Terran. And I've heard Terran is OP against Protoss. It's what uh, the internet seems to be telling me. But I don't know if that's going to be enough for our blue Terran. It's Percival. I don't know if he's going to be able to take down Hero. Hero is certainly the uh, the heavy favorite in this one. But we could see we could see Percival rise up to the occasion. Uh, like I was saying earlier, I would I would love to see that. I'd love to see Percival kind of push up and get some surprising results. I feel like something like a weekly like this is a great place for a player like Percival to get some of those upsets. Maybe take a game, take a match here and there. I think that would be very, very cool to see. It's going to be really tough against Hero. He did take down Nice. And I think that's a solid result for him. They're both uh, very similarly ranked on a Lady Ladder. So not too surprising to see that one go either way. But... Yeah, it's, it's tough when right at the start of the bracket you're put up against arguably the best player in the bracket. Excuse me, not observing for a second. I'm trying to uh, gather information. Resident Team Liquid Liquipedia Editor Expert Porphorion Who does a bang up job Editing The KSL Liquipedia page Keeping it up to date Honestly sometimes it's more up to date Than the, the actual bracket Than <laughs> the challenge bracket I've referenced the Liquipedia To change scores in, On challenge before But I guess I should talk about this game a little bit. Here with the Twilight Council out front. An interesting choice. Kind of makes sense, though. I don't hate this. It's just not something I've really seen too much. Uh, but not really going to have Hellions running in or anything. So these buildings out front, I don't think will be all that useful. Percival seems to be going pretty heavy on the early Marines. Wants to push the front with these Marines. Does have a single Hellion. But I think the Widow Mine drop is the follow-up here. Adept threatening to shade around right now, just being as annoying as possible. And that means there's not much back at home. There is a shield battery, which can help. If there's enough energy for an overcharge, it can really help. Yeah, it looks like Percival's going to have to run away. Hero a little too solid on the defense for him. Oh, Hellion died. It's Adept doing a good job. Getting good scouting information as well. Blink and a prism on the way. It seems like Hero wants to get a bit aggressive here. Oh, that is four gateways. Streamer can count a little bit. Percival needs to realize what he's going up against right now. And honestly needs to be at home to defend. This is kind of really bad for Percival, I feel like. He's trying to be kind of cheeky with this, but with Blink finished? Oh no, this is just not gonna go well for Percival at all. This is really nice, this is really annoying. But Hero blinks down to the low ground to dodge the first mine, and is now lifting up individual stalkers into the prism to try to take good trades here. It actually went a lot better for Percival than I had expected, and I, I think that than Hero had expected. But now, the Marines are all going down, the Medivac goes down, the Widow Mines have gone down. 
A couple of stalkers died, but that was a huge investment for Percival. And Hero was planning on a two base attack. And now that two base attack is going to be so, so much stronger. There's one tank out. I don't think Percival is ready for this at all. He's going to spot the prison coming across now. The Ravens out here could drop an auto turret. SCV is getting pulled to try to repair this bunker. Prepping to repair the bunker. But I don't think it's going to really be enough. We have an auto turret to go down. Yeah, there it goes. But auto turrets, not that strong here. Stalkers blink forward once again. There's a few Marines, there's a few SCVs, but that is not enough. Two tanks on the high ground trying to come down, but one tank blocks the other one. It sieges up, and it gets killed immediately. And that is going to be GG in game number one. A quick one there as Hero goes for the aggressive two base build and wins with the aggressive two base build. He even had a third coming up behind that just in case Percival was able to hold. Yeah, very quick one from Hero. Now we're getting to game two. We're going to be going to Babylon. KSL hype indeed, Wimpy. What is up, my friend? Wimpy, you were getting some, you were getting some uh, angry, angry letters on Battle.net, huh? People upset that you were winning games against them in StarCraft. That's one thing, honestly, I kind of do miss about StarCraft. Is getting flamed by people after you beat them. I feel like I didn't get that too much, but it is, it's kind of fun. Especially when they call you like a smurf and you're like, or a map hacker. Man, that's such a good compliment when you are not those things. Anyways, spawning in the lower right hand corner of Babylon, game number two. We have Dragon Kitesy's hero. Looking very strong, very solid in that game one. Bit of a fortuitous build order win for him. And maybe a bit of a mistake on his opponent's part, not getting that scouting info, the crucial scouting info, that it was, in fact, a four-gate blink build. In the upper left-hand corner, hoping to make the next game a little bit closer. It's Percival. Yeah, I really hope Stormgate has a good way to deal with smurfing. It does feel nice to be called a smurf when you're not, but at the same time, it there's always like this, it's like a tough thing. There's so many smurfs on the ladder. I've definitely had times where I feel like I, I get kind of bodied by smurfs, but because it artificially brings down my, my MMR, a little bit like I'm losing games that I really like maybe shouldn't because people are at my MMR that shouldn't be so then I body the people that are in my MMR and yeah it feels good when they call me a smurf but it's also like well you're kind of right like I'm kind of accidentally getting I don't know like sandbagged on my MMR because the smurfs bring my MMR down lower than it should be so then I fight against people that are lower ranked than me lower skilled than me i just i hate the whole system i really hope that there's they do something about smurfing I, I don't really know what it would be something about leaving games not just automatically taking mmr away if you leave a game in one second and this poor marine getting chased by the zealot looks like they have the same movement speed though they're going to try to go up and delay the CC a little bit. There are two more Marines on the way, but it looks like this SCV might have to do a little micro of its own to stay alive. And now we've got a micro challenge here for Percival. Uh, the Zealot says, no, no, it's okay. I have a friend. Oh, Percival, we've got a pullback. Oh, we're going to lose a couple of Marines here. We'll kill the Zealot at least and finishes the CC. Three Marines going down is, of course, painful, but... Looks like the Adept's gonna have to run away as well. 
Another adept coming across the map. No bunker here is a little tough for Percival. A bunker would be nice. Cyclone on the way out. That's going to be a very important unit as there's an orc coming across the map right now to join up with these units and make things a little bit more difficult. And Cyclone is going to be absolutely crucial in dealing with that. I like the Percival's just not too worried about this low ground. He's still building SCVs to send to it though, which I don't know if I love. The Adept's going to run away and the Oracle decides just to tag, see what's going on in here. Cyclone's going to pop out and Hero's not going to commit to any more aggression. Uh, going for a Phoenix follow-up, so we're going to get into some Phoenixes. The Robo's come down, so I assume that's going to be Phoenix Colossus out of Hero. First of all, building a tank and stim, as this was a two gate, no, 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 three, two racks into three racks before star, star port. Man, I keep wanting to say gate. Percival doesn't have any gates, not a single gate. Mortals are definitely a uh, pretty good unit. Here, keeping an eye on what's going on here. Sees that it's two racks. There's you know, probably Stim on the way. Hasn't spotted the third racks, but I think he can surmise that that's around. Plus one for Percival started up as well. I assume we'll see that starport pretty soon. Meantime, a second immortal coming out. Hero not going for a third base. Just trying to get as many units out as possible to deal with the inevitable push that's coming from Percival. I think that's a smart choice. I do feel like he could build a third. But, you know, Hero knows better than me. And he's trying to chrono boost out these Colossi as well. I think he wants to overkill this push. He doesn't want to, to bare bones it and, like, just barely hold on, maybe lose the third, but stay alive. Now, if this push comes across from Percival, Hero wants to hold it without a doubt. He just wants to build a bunch of units and have a solid defense. He's posturing to take a third. The Adepts are going to spot that this is coming. Uh, nice move from Percival. Not, not getting all of his units trapped. Hero has a shield battery up on the high ground. Lock-on just hits one of the uh, the Adepts. There's a bunch of SCVs here. A lift up on one of the tanks. It is not getting repaired. The SCVs are attacking. Three tanks here, though. That's going to send Hero back a little bit. 13 of those SCVs went down already, though. And there are still some Phoenix in the sky that can lift up these tanks. Here are going to tag the army. Keep an eye on it. The third base in a little bit of trouble. Hero might have to cancel that. Stent Thermal Lance about to finish. Oh, the tanks were on siege, though, and the army was a little bit out of position. And now these Colossi and these Immortals are just going to chew through the bio. And that's going to leave the tank super exposed. And just like that, Hero clears this push, sends it packing, and sends Percival to the Shadow Realm. Hero takes the 2-0.